Okay, so now we're doing our scalp cleanser. Um, we've wet the hair down, just like you would normally in the shower for a shampoo, and then I've just literally lifted the hair up a little bit. So this is to clean away everything we've just used with the scalp brush therapy. So we've brought everything up and out, we now wanna wash it away. So we wanna use as much as the top of the cap. So let's put it in my hand here. It's about, it's a bit hard to see, about 10 cent piece between both hands. And we literally just go in and we target it on the scalp. Now it won't foam because we're not using foaming agents. So I can feel that it is everywhere, but it's not doing anything. So what it's actually doing is grabbing uh, all the things we just brought up with the scalp brush therapy. So what you want to do is rinse and repeat. So we've just rinsed it out. We're coming back for our second scalp cleanser. So again, between both hands, straight away, you can see there's a much better foam in there. We just want to move the product around. It's not about how much you use. It's really just moving the product around. When it foams, it will tell you that it's nice and clean. So to me, that's not quite foamy enough. So I'm going to rinse again and uh, repeat. So we've rinsed and we're going again. As I said, we're bringing out a lot of the debris from the scalp. So the scalp cleanser will foam when it's clean. It will tell you. So you can see there, you can probably hear it. That is the foam that you're looking for. And the other thing is I'm focusing on the scalp. I'm not physically pulling it through the longer hair because it is a scalp cleanser. So you think of your face to use a facial cleanser. This is a very special scalp cleanser to clean away the scalp oil and scale. And it's really good following brush therapy. You know, we're not rubbing or scrubbing. It's just moving the products around and that's foamed enough. So we're going to rinse it out uh, and go to our next step.